The Lord be with you. And with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to Jesus and, kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched him, and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, before today's homily, a couple public service announcements. Uh, first, uh, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So if you haven't bought that special someone... The clock is ticking, and I'm preaching to myself, too. Sorry, Chris. Anyway, um, so first, um, not a public service announcement, but, but remember, this Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, so we have Masses in English at 6.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 12.10 p.m., 6 p.m., and 7.30 p.m. in Spanish. Okay, so hopefully you can make one of those. Um, so I'm going to start, believe it or not, with last week's Gospel. Because last week's gospel concludes with Simon Peter finding Jesus in a deserted place. But before that, you might remember that Jesus was healing Peter's mother-in-law at Peter's home. And there was a crowd gathered at the door, and Jesus was either curing people of illness or driving out demons. And so upon finding Jesus in this deserted place the next day, he tells Jesus, everyone is looking for you. And Jesus responds, Let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. Let me repeat that part. Let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. That I may preach there also. So today, the next verses of the Gospel of Mark, a leper comes to Jesus, and Jesus chooses to heal him. And after healing the leper, he sternly warns him, See that you tell no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest. So, when you think about it, since Jesus can't enter towns openly after this healing, in a sense, he and the leper have switched places. Because the leper, now cleansed, can go into the town openly and publicize the whole matter. But Jesus cannot. So is it because Jesus is unclean? No. That's not the answer. Because Jesus is God. And unlike anyone else, rather than the spreading from the leper to Jesus when Jesus touched him, Jesus' touch cures the leper. So instead of two people with leprosy, because of Jesus' touch, neither do. So then what's Jesus' concern about the leper telling people? Well, you probably think, well, it's because Jesus you know, couldn't go into the town openly because he became famous for his healing. So he would come to an area and people would flock to him and he would cure their illnesses, drive out their demons. But remember where I started today. What did he come for? To preach. To preach. That's last week's gospel. So now he really can't come into the town and teach or preach openly anymore because he gets inundated with requests for healing. Even so much so that even when he's out in the desert, people keep coming to him from everywhere, today's gospel says. So that may be a typical answer. But I think there's a much deeper answer to that question of why Jesus warned him not to tell anyone. 
And maybe it was because Jesus just didn't want to be identified as a Messiah who healed physical afflictions through miracles. Could it have been that he came maybe for a greater healing? To overcome our slavery to the devil, to sin, and to death. And not just by removing or acquitting us from sin, but even more importantly, to fill us with his own divine life. Think of how many times in the Gospels that Jesus offers something and the people misinterpret it. Like he says, I am the bread of life, and he feeds them bread, right, from loaves and fishes, 4,000, 5,000. And what are they after? More earthly bread. But what is he offering them? The bread of eternal life. And think of the woman at the well who he offers to give living water. And she says, that would be awesome because I wouldn't have to come here and fill up my pail every day. So Jesus is offering something eternal and the people he's speaking to are hearing it in a very earthly way for their daily sustenance of bread or water. So Jesus comes for more than just physical healing. He comes to give us eternal life and to free us from that slavery. So to close, a very simple message, but Jesus came so that we may have life fully and freely and not as a slave, but as a beloved child of God. Now, if you know Deacon David, that can't be the end. But it really is, because today, Father Doug asked me if I could be the person who reminds everybody that today's the second weekend of the Bishop's Appeal. And so most of you filled this out last week, but obviously there will be some people today attending that were not able to come to Mass here last week or possibly uh, viewing us on live stream this week. And so I'm going to walk you through the um, pledge process. So on the ends of each pew, or in the very middle of the bigger pews, there is an envelope that says 2021 Bishop's Appeal. And so for those of you that did not fill it out last week, um, please open the envelope. And even if you cannot donate right now, um, we'll walk through the information together. And again, if you're at home via live stream, please follow us, because we made it easier this year to text at home by doing or participate at home by doing a text message. So you can text the word bishop to 865-345-5566. Let me just repeat that real fast. 865-345-5566. You'll receive a text message back with a link, and then you can click on the link and be taken to a donation page that looks very similar to our pledge cards. For those of you in the pews, uh, please examine uh, the monthly pledge amounts that are listed on the right side of the pledge document and consider giving a monthly pledge that will allow you to provide a larger gift. So right now I'm going to take you through the process to maximize the time, I'm sorry, to minimize, not maximize, to minimize the time it takes. So please open the envelope and find the pledge form and the pencil. And on the front, please print your first name, spouse's first name, and your last name on the top line. On the second line, please print your address, including any unit or apartment number. On the third line, please print your city, state, and zip code, as well as your phone number. On the fourth line, please indicate, indicate your email address. And on the next line, please indicate the name of our parish. You can just put ASC for All Saints Church so that we receive credit for the gift. And if you're a visitor or a member of another parish in our diocese, you can indicate your parish. If you have already made a pledge by mail, check the box that indicates I have already made a Bishop's Appeal 2021 pledge. And if you check this box, please do not indicate any additional financial information on the form. For everyone else, please look at the gift boxes on the right side of the form and check the amount you wish to give. And if you pledge, the diocese will send you regular reminders and you may pay in 10 installments or less. And there's no need to provide an initial donation today. 
In the event you wish to contribute an amount other than the ones indicated, please check the other box and indicate the full amount of your pledge on the blank line to its right. Now please look at the lines provided on the lower right hand side of the pledge card and indicate the total amount you pledged on the first line. And if you want to make an initial donation today, you can write the amount on the next line. And if you're unable to contribute, please check the box provided under the parish name line on the left so that you can indicate you do not wish to give at this time. Now please turn the card over. There are multiple donation options on the back of the card, cash check, credit card, direct debit. You can select the option that best meets your needs and fill out the appropriate information. And please note you can make a one-time gift or check the box will allow you to make your donation in 10 installments. And then today to um, help uh, limit physical contact, we're gonna ask you to place your completed pledge card uh, in, back in the envelope provided. You can keep the pencil. And please uh, seal the envelope. And then on your way out of mass today, uh, there's two large baskets near the center as you walk out by the baptismal font. And please uh, place your envelope in one of the two large baskets as you leave church today. Thank you. And it closes with, on behalf of Bishop Sticka and Father Doug, our pastor, uh, we thank you for your contribution to the Bishop's Appeal 2021, and may God continue to bless you. Please stand and let us profess our faith. 